down the street um my phone down low because my phone didn't charge overnight so i need to get that um mount in my window pull up some because i can't charge my phone look lady damn bitch you don't need no license then look i gotta hear this shit this morning hey i gotta hear this i put some ice on you because you got a call i know i gotta keep my shorty on Hey, I keep my shorty. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Hey. Is it okay if I call you my product, baby? I ain't no player, I just got a lot hey. of things. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, hey. baby. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Here we go. Yeah. This is how we're going to do it. I want y'all to do this right here because I like to play music as I come in to speak to y'all in the morning time. There's a lot of guys out there um, that need, or females out there that need their, uh, make sure I make her good, that need their, um, they, their CDs out there. I need a small clip of your CDs if you want me to play your music for you. When I start my Facebook up and you want to get your song out there, inbox me like a 20 second clip of your music that you want out there. And let Rhoda Young Live play it for you for free. I can give that back to the community out there. That's my part of giving back. Give me like a 20 second. Give me a CD or something. I can play your music and advertise your music right now. 20 second clip for you for free. Uh, so therefore, I ain't got to worry about keep turning down the music. For Facebook, won't say I'm playing somebody else's music. Um, yes. I do need a pole, girl. I need to slap my ass down a pole, bitch. If I ever slide down the pole at 48 years old, you ain't gonna be able to tell a bitch nothing. Bitch, they ain't nothing but confidence. A bitch that slide down the pole is confident, bitch. And anytime she can spread her legs open, let somebody look between her legs, that bitch got power. You can say what you want to say about a stripper. That bitch got confidence. The hell I'm gonna open my legs up, let everybody look between it. <laughs> I don't know what's down there because I can't see it. But baby, while you're talking about the pole, bitch, let me tell you about these stripper pictures I got. I got the stripper pictures right here in my phone, girl. I went to Malia birthday badge, baby. Bye. Them girls had it going on, bitch. But baby, I forgot my soda this morning. Baby, when I got my new, when I took that camel thing out and slid that damn SIM card into my brand new Dell computer, and them colors on that picture, that on the, on that computer is so pure. I came across the street, bitch. I seen polka dots, connect the dots, and bitch needs some goddamn. My mama seen the picture. I was at my mama house. I was playing with my computer, and I slipped that SIM card in. Them damn strippers popped up, cause you know I'm not good with technology. Them strippers popped up, and my mama said, "Well, what the hell is that?" She said, "Just like that." I'm calling me Steven. He know I'm on live. Get the fuck off my phone. That nigga torched me again last night. So I'm late as hell this morning. Anyway, and I told him last night, he told me, he always like this. Y'all, this just gonna be for some fun this morning. Okay, guys, shit, we ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm just waking up. I'm late as hell as always. Bitch late. Okay, anyway. So, um, I told him last night, he told me, you and that damn Facebook, you and your Facebook people, them bitches on Facebook really hates me. I said, it's damn show, do. <laughs> Tell my um, he don't care if I just use his, get on Facebook, since I don't have nothing to talk about. 
and use him for the views and to get some views. I said, what the hell did you just say, Stephen? I'm not using your name to get no goddamn views. I'm telling the damn truth on Facebook Live. The hell don't... I said, look, 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 my nigga. I said, don't, don't sit here, Stephen, and try to convince yourself that I'm using your name for views when I'm telling the goddamn truth. Nigga, you need to open your ears and listen to the message. I said, now you sitting here don't want to um, be accountable for your actions. And he kept fucking with me. He kept fucking with me. <laughs> it's a game for some people, but this shit serious for me. I said, you know what, bitch? I said, you think you was on Facebook yesterday? Bitch, I'm going to talk about you all day tomorrow on Facebook. <laughs> I said, just for that, I said, whatever you do tonight, I'm going to talk about you on Facebook tomorrow morning. I told him straight up, just like that. And then start that shit you want to. I'm going to start getting mini clips. I'm going to start, I'm going to get real bad with the damn computer. I'm going to get mini clips. And then I'm going to start inserting the clips on the Facebook live. That I'm going to put it on my damn computer sitting around this costume. So here go clip, guys. Part one, boom. Part two, boom. Part three, boom. Watch. I'm going to have y'all mini clips. Watch. As I tell the story about Stephen Young live, I'm mean, well, Stephen Young. As I tell y'all the story about Stephen Young, I'm gonna start pulling out mini clips so y'all can see that I had the fucking receipts. And if you think he at work sweating in the heat with that shovel right now, and everybody at the city looking at him, he just wait till I come out with the mini clips. Now that's really gonna piss you and your grandma off. <laughs> I'm so tired of being married to Stephen and his grandma. My last marriage, I was married to my husband and his mama. Every time I get married, I'm married to somebody in they got the, them and somebody in their goddamn family. Mm. Can I just be great with just my husband? Still to this day, my first husband mother calls me. Me and my husband have no, re my first husband has no relationship at all. But I have a really good relationship and rapport with his mother. Because for 30, 20 some years, I have the answer to her. She said, 20 years ago, how is this? 23, 22, 22 years ago, she said, I always wanted a daughter. And I never had one. I had all boys. You're going to be my daughter. I was like, huh? I was in Alabama, sell Alabama, looking at her like, huh? She said, yeah, and call me mama. I said, the hell of I will. I couldn't get the word mama out my mouth to save my damn life. She told me I was going to call her mama. I said, the hell if I will. And to this day, guys, me and her still best friends, though. I mean, my mama, my mama, my mother tell me that I am Lucy, which is my first husband's mother. She say, you ain't, you act right like that goddamn Lucy from Alabama. You and Lucy twins. Y'all just the light. I said, no, I'm not. She said, yes, you is. Look how you treat your daughter-in-laws. I said, I learned it from the best. I cuss a bitch out when it comes to my sons just like it ain't nothing. I was taught that by my mother-in-law. She said, my mother-in-law told me, when you come for my son, bitch, you came for me. I said, well, let me cuss your ass out too then. I knocked right on her door. Miss Lucy, where your ugly ass son at? She said, get the hell off my porch. <laughs> that lady was tough money, guys. That lady right there was tough money. I told, I told Stephen, if he don't get his grandma, I'm going to get my first mother-in-law to get her ass. Because she'll get her right real quick. I'm going to call my first mother-in-law. She'll get her real quick. She'll get her right. And Miss Lucy was in church. Y'all watch out for the church folks now. The church folks terrible. But Miss Lucy made sure she didn't care who came down the interstate from Selma, Alabama. Every year, she came and got my son. She picked them up out my hands, and I had to pick them back up out her hands. I ain't, I couldn't deal with her son. I used to call her. I still call her to this day. We call her all the time. Miss Lucy, where that fine son of yours at? Ask him, do he still want his wife? She said, girl, you so crazy. Yeah, uh-huh. Destroy my damn marriage. I'm going to tell her one day. I'm going to get it on Facebook, too. I'm going to put her on the speakerphone and let y'all hear Miss Lucy. I'm going to say, Miss Lucy, I have some, it been something in my mind. I've been wanting to talk to you about. And she'll be like, what? 
I'm Sabila Tulsi. You destroyed my goddamn marriage. <laughs> yes, guys. But look, this is why I really get on a serious note. Don't forget to send me your little clips of your um your song. If you want a song, what's up, Rob? I see you posting those um dropping those um stuff inside my messenger right now. I can't speak on it. Let me see what Robert trying to tell me. <clears throat> Robert bad guy. Y'all, Robert is bad. Robert is my intern from Portsmouth, Virginia. He's my intern. Robert is bad. Well, I'm talking to y'all right now. Robert is dropping in the latest information that happened in the 757. He has just given us an update on those shooting at Walmart in Norfolk, Virginia. Two young men right now has been arrested um, for the shooting in Norfolk, Virginia. When we end this live video, I will be posting the link for y'all can get the information on what happened inside of that Walmart. Remember that day we was out there at Walmart? Matter of fact, Robert just dropped the receipts in. Who was the guys? How they look? And their pictures. And we're going to drop the link on my page as soon as this Facebook live end. Also, I'm getting back to... Um, Get to the serious note, y'all. I got to go get this poke chop. I got to get this poke chop this morning. I don't have a soda, so I'm not feeling too good. Okay? And I ain't going to blame my... Okay. Anyway, let's get this to one. This right here is what I wanted to talk to y'all about. God laid this on my heart this morning. Um, You guys got your mothers out there that's been working for these white folks or rich folks. Remember, um, white don't mean... White don't mean color. White mean the amount of money that they have. You watch your mothers and you watch your grandmothers and you watch your aunties give all they get to the white folks cleaning their houses for years. You watch your mother, you watch your grandma and your aunties do things for these white folks that you like. Why are you doing all that damn work for these people? They don't give a fuck about you. They and them, you know, all the folks really believe those people they gave all their years to, all their good years to love them. They were watching, washing their clothes, slamming up and down their basements, cleaning their damn commodes. They was out there, guys, giving everything, raising their kids, raising their grandkids. They was in them people's family life so well, guys, that they also have. The white folks have grandkids named after their maids, okay, and housekeepers. But guess what? The white folks don't give a damn about your people. I have watched and witnessed, and I'm going to cuss these bitches out. I swear on my life, I'm going to give this shit to these bitches right here. Because they don't stuck on my motherfucking toes, bitch, and they ain't going to ball my toes up. I'm going to hold them bitches out flat and dare your ass to step on them again. That's what I'm going to do. I'm a bad bitch. Because what I have witnessed with my own ass, and I've been wanting to give this to y'all ass for a mighty long time because I didn't appreciate what you did. And I've seen the nonsense sending home to somebody's house old ass food that you didn't want going out to eat and giving my motherfucking mama, god damn it, bitch, some food you ate out of. And she coming home like everybody want to run around that plate of food because y'all white ass get to a hell no. Nah. We say kick that shit in the trash can. Sit in the old ass clothes and we probably be happy as hell. She want us to get on our knees and act like we fucking shopping in the mall. We ain't want that shit. Y'all had us all the way fucked up. That was our mother ways, not our ways, not that ways. Our mother ways. Okay, my mother raised, cleaned y'all motherfucking house and fucking auto shop for fucking 30 some goddamn years. Help you raise your motherfucking kids. Went to all their fucking birthday parties when she didn't go to her own fucking birthday parties. Went, help y'all with your fucking grandkids that you got grandkids named after her. And when she get hurt and sick, y'all ain't got a goddamn thing for her. She got hurt in fucking December. Y'all didn't even get her her Christmas bonus. She landed in the hospital. Y'all get her her paycheck without her Christmas bonus. You think a bitch like me won't watch y'all motherfucking ways? Huh, bitch. Oh, bitch, you got me fucked up. Okay, and also, uh, where is somebody who hit me? Her car broke down. She, her car ain't been working since the day she fell on the fucking ground. When she fell down, her car went down. We came up there to the auto shop multiple times to get y'all to help us and assist us with fixing the car. Not for free, but just to pay for y'all to do it. And your bitches didn't do it. The one man in there, the Mexican man, came out there and tried to fix it, put a brand new battery, cost her a hundred dollars for the brand new battery in that car, and that car still didn't go nowhere. So I on yesterday came up to the shop and I said, Mr. Steve, my mother car have not been working since she failed in December. He looked, the white folks look, I look. I said, Well, they talking to somebody. I got up, I walked outside, walked around the lot to look for another car. I came back. All everybody gone there, the white folks in there. I could talk to y'all now. I said, I, I, I turned around and asked the man. He looked at me like I'm crazy. But I'm going to go in there today and go in there with my motherfucking mask. 
I said, what's your name? He said, Mike. I said, you know my mother? He said, who? Look at my face, bitch. I look like my mama. How many black bitches coming in here asking you, do you know their mother? He said, Mike. He said, oh, the one that do Mr. Steve laundry? Huh. Bitch, she did more than his motherfucking laundry. Okay, she ra helped raise his fucking kids, protected all his diamonds and golds, and when he left $600 and $1,000 in his fucking pocket constantly, and she washed his clothes, she gave it back to him. That bitch right there. So I spoke to Mr. Steve. I said, Mr. Steve, my mother engine is gone. They said the motor gone on her car. I said, how much would it be to replace the motor? You know what this motherfucker going to tell me? If I was you, I wouldn't get involved. That car is too old anyway to drop a motor in. I wouldn't get involved. Wouldn't get involved, bitch. That's my mom's, bitch. Are you listening to me? What I was expecting to hear from you, I said we can't get her to her doctor's appointments like we need to. Yes, she got the health insurance where they'll pick her up, but she have her own car. And like now she's going to physical therapy. I need to be able to put her in her vehicle so we can... um. So we can, I can drive her to a physical therapy appointment because my truck is too tall. Bitch, are you going to offer to fix her car? Tell us how much a motor is? Are you going to say, well, shit, for all the years she did, take one, another one, he hooped this off this motherfucking lot? Uh, can she come up with this much money? Can this car 3000 or $4,000? Can y'all come up with $3,000 and I take 1000 off? You ain't saying that. All y'all just looked at me like this. And I told them politely in their face, but I hate my mask on. That's why I got to go back. They heard me, but I, I hate my mad song. I said, let me get the fuck out of here, because don't none of y'all give a fuck. I did that, okay? I did that. I had to tell them that. And that's what I'm telling y'all. Watch out for your mothers and your grandmothers and stuff. They slaying over these motherfucking people that are soft my language. They slaying over these people all these years in housekeeping. They washing their clothes. They cleaning their house while they go out there and make them big dollars. They keeping their homes together. And they raising their kids and making sure they get home from school and off the school bus. And the whole time, they making sure your child get off the school bus. Who watching their kids go off the school bus? So they have to neglect their own kids and, and, and hope their kids get off the school bus and make it home while they're at your house making sure your child get home. But as soon as that person that worked for you inside your home gets sick, y'all turn y'all back on them. Y'all start thinking working underneath the table is good. It's not fucking good because them people do not give a fuck about you. If they gave a fuck, if they gave a f about you, you'll get paid vacation. You, if you get sick, you'll get sick leave. If you were sick, they would still be saying, "Well, I know this is her own income. Let me still sow into her life. We got the money. We, we she been working us for, for us for years. Why the day she get sick was the day her check stop? Why y'all ain't still saying, "Well, we can't afford to pay her." Uh, two hundred dollars a week no more, but we gonna at least get her fifty dollars, you know, for a couple of weeks to help on the feet. Why? Cause you never gave a fuck, but she gave a fuck about y'all. Now watch my mom slay over y'all motherfucking ass. Thought y'all was gold. Y'all ain't shit. And I'ma let y'all know y'all ain't shit. I'ma say it. I've been wanting to say it all my life. If I my mama find out, I go up there and say it. She gonna be mad at me, but that's the damn chances I'm gonna take. I'ma let y'all know. I don't appreciate the way y'all treated my mother after she got sick. After she washed your wife goddamn drawers and your girlfriend motherfucking drawers. Okay? I don't play that. Homie, don't play that shit. And guess what? I'm old enough now that I can speak for her when she can't speak for herself. I'm going to say what's on her fucking mind. That she still thinks y'all like her. Y'all never liked her. Y'all never gave a fuck about her. Y'all used her until you couldn't use her no more. And I'm going to cuss y'all ass out on this day. And you better hope I don't do it live. And I see your daughter in court if I have to. But I'm going to cut your ass out. I am the infinite Miss Road in your life. Where? What you did to my mother all those years? Not even getting her a paid day off. Not even getting her a holiday off. And then when she fall and hurt herself, y'all ass don't give a fuck about her. Oh, bitch, I got something to tell y'all. Because she was going to y'all fucking uh, grandkids. No, she was going to y'all kids graduation. And we didn't see her at all. Okay? Because she had to kiss y'all ass. It wasn't because she wanted to. Because she had to kiss y'all ass. The other day, one of y'all grandkids graduated. I had to take a mail with a card with money in it and mail it to your grandchild. See, it's about... She was y'all friend. Y'all was never hers. Until I see your ass again. I am the infinite Miss Rudd in your life. Well, I'm going to come up there and cuss y'all ass out on this day. And then I can, be, I can die in peace.
I can die in peace.